Hey you guys, it's Mrs. Greif. Welcome to your first online video chemistry lesson. We are going over 10.3 today. Now here's how these video lessons are gonna work. You need to watch this video twice. It's short, you can do it. Watch it how many times? Twice. You got it, excellent. All right, and what's gonna happen here is the first time you watch it, don't worry about hitting the pause button. That's right here or somewhere different on your screen. Uh, but the second time through, definitely pause the video lots, work through problems on your own, I'll prompt you as needed. So if this is your second time watching this video through, go ahead and hit the pause button now to copy these notes down. But if this is your first time through, um, you can keep listening. So 10.3 is about moles of compounds. Now we did moles of elements before and moles of atoms, but we didn't do moles of compounds yet. So let's define officially the molar mass of a compound is the mass of a mole of the representative particles. Remember in the first section, we learned that representative particles could be atoms, molecules, or formula units. So you'll have to write down the right one on your homework. Uh, molecules is for covalent bonds and formal units are for ionic bonds of a compound. So if you haven't yet on your second time around watching this video, copied this down, you should right now and hit the pause button and copy this down because you need to upload your notes as part of this video assignment. But if you're moving on, we shall move ahead. So you've unhit your pause button and we are getting started. Our objective with the problems that you'll see on your homework is to convert the mass of a compound to moles and uh, vice versa as well. So um, copy this problem down if it's your second time through and give it a try. But our problem number one is calculate the number of moles and 17.2 grams of benzene, which is defined as C6H6, so six carbons and six hydrogens. Pause the video now if this is your second time through and try out this problem before you move on. And if you have unpaused at this point, or if this is your first time through the video, we shall move along. Um, as we're calculating um, anything in this chapter, we have to ask ourselves the question, what are we given? And what we're given in this problem is 17.2 grams of C6 H6. And again, the question comes up, Mrs. Greif, do we really have to copy all that down? Do we have to put grams? Do we have to put C6H6? And the answer is absolutely yes. So on your homework, make sure you are showing your work for all of that. Uh, grams on top, grams on the bottom, as we've been learning this whole chapter. And as we learned in chapter two, C6 H6. Now, um, at this point, you might wonder, where did I get that 78 number from? Remember, on the periodic table, that gives you the molar mass of a compound. So I looked up six sixes, uh, six carbons and six hydrogens and tallied it up, and that was that many grams for my periodic table. That's how many grams are in one mole of C6 H6. If this is your second time through, hopefully you threw that in your calculator and you got 0 0.22 Oh, moles of C6H6 for your final answer. Excellent. If this part right here threw you off at all, uh, calculating the molar mass, go ahead and make sure you turned in that uh, number 14 worksheet that was um, due last week if you didn't make it to class last week. Um, but we did a whole bunch of practice with that on Monday last week in class. So get that done or reference the chapter if you need to. All right, and here's the next problem. And here's the next problem. So if this is your second time through watching the video, go ahead and push your pause button, copy this down and try this problem out on your own first, and then unpause and I will uh, walk you through it again. So if this is your first time through the video, however, you are continuing on, ask yourself self, what am I given? Start with that. So it looks like we're given moles this time. So 0 0.187 moles. Uh, notice this time I did not give you the formula. You had to think about that yourself, but you guys know how to name stuff. Uh, moles of tin 2 sulfate on the top, moles of tin 2 sulfate on the bottom, and finish. And finishing up, I'm running out of time because I'm limited to five minutes on this Screencastify app. Um, we have moles on top, moles on the bottom. There's the grams that came from the periodic table. So tally up one tin, one sulfate, sulfur, and four oxygens, and that's the number you get. Good luck, you guys. Do your homework.